Super Dave here for another review. Super Dave here with another exciting review and today we're looking at God Skeletor. This is from the 1987 movie of Masters of the Universe with a Skeletor played by Frank Langella and this is the God Skeletor that was near the end of the movie when he transforms with these powers after being able to capture some of the powers I believe of Skull and begin to fight He-Man. This is that character from Super 7 in that William Stout collection and here's some pictures there of the movie of him in that outfit he's in that typical Masters of the Universe classics mailer box and then here is our prize again another classics character that is in that traditional blister card isn't that beautiful wow check that out absolutely amazing collector's choice super 7 logo and on the back some more of that fabulous artwork with a drawn artwork of the god skeletor in the gold outfit the golden skeletor outfit there with some other selling points there's a william stout collection and then the last wave of the club gray skull figures there is the bio card if you'd like to pause and read that for a second all right, so let's break him open and check out his accessories. Then we'll go to the review booth back here in the throne room in our makeshift Snake Mountain until Snake Mountain comes, <laughs> comes in. Can't wait for that. That day is going to come and we are going to review Snake Mountain right here. Mark your calendar. Well, we don't know the calendar, but just stay tuned. All right, here is our golden or god Skeletor and he is a sight to behold. A very nice quality made detailed action figure and we'll be looking at him even closer when we go over to the review booth or the review throne room but the only accessory he comes with other than his amazing garb here including capes and streamers and skirts and tassels it's just amazing that headdress is amazing it's non removable is this golden havoc staff that's right he comes with a golden Havoc staff, which is really cool. I want us to go over to the review booth and check out his articulation and look at his clothing and just his overall amazingness closer up. Meet you over there. All right, here we are in the throne room of Snake Mountain. And uh, we've got some enemies that I felt like, some action figures that I felt like went better with our golden suit god skeletor that just seem to be better than than some of the filmation or even classic ones because i don't own all of the william stout collection i just got the rebel leader he-man and then the god skeletor you can still smell the enamel that strong metallic gold paint on this figure by the way when you take him out of the package it's amazing um, but it's very well done. It wasn't wet or scarred or nicked anywhere. It's just very well done. Only time will tell how it holds up in the long run. But this character is fascinating. Let's just do a quick 360 of this amazing action figure. You see all the way around the shininess of that gold, the different gold tones and the different colors of gold that are sprinkled within just really sets this guy apart and uh, brings some great attention to him all right let's go ahead and measure our skeletor figure here he comes right at seven and a quarter if you were to measure at the top of his head but if you if you measure him from the top of these horns at the top he's eight and a quarter right at eight and a quarter uh, inches tall so just an amazing sized action figure here just really nice and he's tall, he's, he's going to fit in well with William Stout, Rebel Leader He-Man. I did not get the regular Skeletor. Just an amazing looking action figure. I'm going to go ahead and go over his articulation very quickly here. Then we'll do some comparisons. 
so his head can look up about that much nice uh, range of motion there he can he can look up and then he can look down quite a bit that's that's good kind of bounces back on us a little bit there he can look from side to side mine's very tight you can hear it click in there but he does move side to side he could get a little bit not much that the cape at the top kind of impedes and restricts his ability to to do some some attitude there but it, it does wobble a little bit there all right and you just see the amazing detail of this particular figure just check out that head sculpt i do have a red light along with the studio lights it's kind of shining so if you see a little bit of a red reflection that's why but you just see the detail see the bat wings here the collar the horns Everything just looks really nice. The headdress is probably one of the most impressive parts of this figure. So I just wanted to get you to look at that there. Even that stone in the middle of his forehead there or at the top of his crown there. Just really cool. Everything looks nice. Just the way his eyes are done. Why don't you just look at the inside of those eyes, getting a light just a little bit closer. See the depth as if you can see, you know, that it's a helmet or a mask of some sort that he's wearing. That comes out in the sculpt of this figure, even the way it looks like there is gaps in between the helmet and the face, even though there's not. Uh, the helmet is molded in, as far as I can tell but yet it doesn't look like it. So it's just an amazing head sculpt all the way around. Looking at the arms, you're gonna be able to go up, even 360, there's nothing to hinder that with these shoulder pads, which is nice. He has single jointed elbows, swivel and hinge at the wrist, which is nice. He has the ability to go out about 90 degrees like that. So looking at the ab crunch, it, had, it was very tight, but I used the hair dryer trick, and he goes forward about that much. You can see that's excellent motion there. And then he goes back about that much, so he goes back a good ways there. So that's excellent. And of course you have the swivel at the waist. And then going on down to his legs here, he has that typical ball joint underneath, but he's only, because of that skirt, only able to get about that much of a split, which is fine. And then he can go out quite a bit there. Not a full seat, but he can go out quite a bit. He has that single jointed knee there. And then with the feet, look at that very quickly. He has some rockers there if you get it just right. And then he's able to go back and forth with the ankle. And just very quickly, he's able to go back pretty good amount there as well so he also has thigh swivel so he has thigh swivel no boot cut on these figures here but uh, a very nice amount of articulation that's standard with our classics line of figures so very nice there now i will mention to you something that i discovered in just a moment when i took a break is that my horn on this front fell out and so that caused me to examine a little closer and if you'll notice that you have two large horns up here then you have two smaller horns on the side that form like an L shape see this big one right here mine is missing and if you look in there very closely there's a hole so it caused me to go back and look all over the carpet <laughs> all over the floor to see if maybe that one had fallen out being that this one had popped out well I could not find it so I went back and reviewed my own video when I took him out of the package and zoomed in. Here's a still picture of it over here. There it is. You see that that horn was missing in mine. That horn was missing in mine in the package before I even opened it. So I'll be taking a still picture of that and sending that to Super 7, but I may just buy me another one and do something with a custom with this figure i'm not sure yet but uh so just check very carefully if you do purchase this character to see if you have all the horns because apparently these can come out this one just needs to be glued back all the rest of these are very tight inside of uh his head his helmet head there this headdress this helm but uh this one's missing 
and this one was popping out. And I even went and looked inside the packaging and double checked the packaging to make sure it wasn't rattling around in there. And I even checked the carpet a third time just to make sure all over that I did not drop it or something out of the package that maybe it was rattling around loose in there but apparently mine just came missing that horn so check yours and here's our golden outfit god skeletor in all his glory with his havoc staff there and i've partnered him with some villains i don't have all the william stout collection don't have the first skeletor just so i've just got this villain so far and i just wanted to partner him with some villains i think he looks great with this uh mythic legion or four horsemen Gothotropolis, Scarabus here uh, figure in the gold outfit. I just love this character. He has, you know, the beetle bug looking stuff going on. If you'll notice here on his staff, beetle and these this beetle type look that he has with the, the legs coming out the back and the different things that is on his belt buckle. And God Skeletor has that same kind of thing going on a little bit with his headdress up here. So I thought that was very interesting um, that there's that similarity so they go well together uh almost you know in that sense i think and uh got some other villains along with them that i thought fit in all right there's alien there's some fortnite figures there's a mortal Kombat ninja with the skull head and there's a uh, corpus clave and another fortnite figure so i put some figures that i thought kind of matched his motif with him here so that's just a comparison there to look at him with some of those and of course, here he is with He-Man, Rebel Leader He-Man that goes along with this William Stout collection. So just wanted to give you a, a look of the comparison there as well. You can see these two line up and fit very nicely together as a set. And I'm just very happy with these characters. I think they're just very cool and very well made the quality is just outstanding and i just think that they go well together i love the detail to their outfits and everything considered this is just an awesome character in and of itself i love this god skeletor in the outfit that he's got really nice and just like with our classic he-man let's just take a look at our alcala head uh, battle armor skeletor next to him you see it is about maybe half an inch difference in the height of this character but you see how it measures up very different very different look even more of an extreme difference than uh you know classics he-man with the william stout masters of the universe movie from 1987 he-man rebel leader he-man uh, just quite a bit of difference both an outfit even if we had the black uh you know outfit outfitted movie version of the Skeletor before he became God Skeletor is still just a huge difference basically the same face just a different set of that headdress he has a, a hood but um, and there's a picture of him right there you see very different very different indeed now finally let's just take a look at him with Filmation our ultimate Filmation Skeletor and then here is a look at him with the Filmation ultimate Skeletor from that's more inspired by the filmation line even look at the difference in the havoc staff of course the one on the left our filmation skeletor which is my favorite looks like he stepped right out of the 1984-85 filmation he-man in the masters of the universe cartoon and he is my favorite who does this guy think he is this is a joke this is not skeletor i'm skeletor <laughs> oh well that's a waste of a lot of gold there you got there, fella. Anyway, everybody knows I'm Skeletor. All right, so there we have it. A look at our God Skeletor. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And we will see you next time right here on Super Dave Reviews of Motu Classics and other action figures. Be blessed.